<laughs> Chad, don't you have a Dremel tool? I need a Dremel. Uh, I think David has it. Marvel, I cannot find any of the Dremels here. Didn't you? You had one the other day, right? Yeah, David took it. Hey, Tyler, do you have one? Uh, I think David took it. David, I've been looking all over for the Dremels. Can I? I need a Dremel tool. Can I get that one? I'm using no, it. No, you have like everyone's Dremel. You took like five. Would you turn that off? You well, have like I'm five Dremel. Them. All of them? Yes. You can't possibly be using five Dremel tools. Give me one of them. Fine. <laughs> built a quadcopter out of Dremel tools and the first question I want to ask is why but then I mean you just I mean I think that's self-explanatory self-explanatory because <laughs> it's awesome I guess anything with a motor you could build a quadcopter out of are these like particularly well suited to for quadcopter use? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> okay. uh, so these are brushed motors in here. So they're huge, they're like that size, and they're much less powerful than our tiny little brushless ones that are this size, like the cap of this. So that's a challenge to get this brushed motor to be at its peak performance. These are 30,000 RPM. So That's actually pretty close to the RPM that our quadcopter motors make. So I thought, mm, uh, let's try it. So I took a single Dremel and just put a prop on it and let it go. Proof of concept. Ooh. I should probably tighten the prop down a little bit. Ooh. That's gonna work. And it does fly. I'm All a little right. nervous about this thing. This is armed up here. That's armed. Okay. Uh, if I can control it that much, I'm just gonna walk behind it. It's actually alright, it's feeling pretty good this time. It's staying up. It's flying. How is it, Drew? It's, oh my god, it's pretty rough. I'm like at 80% throttle just to keep it all alive. How are you gonna maintain line, you know, orientation? <laughs> As long as you keep it moving forward, line of sight's not too difficult. When you bring it to a hover, that's up. Oh, oh. We gotta set it down gently if we can. Ooh, yeah, good landing. That was full throttle at the good end. Good landing. Keep it up. Those battery, that battery sagged out. We, oh. have, we flew. It does fly. That is an accurate statement. Flying at FPV is gonna be like riding. We gotta overcharge the 3S. Oh, no, no. Vayner See, this whole not. time I've been saying, why don't we run this on 4S? Why don't we overcharge the 3S? And the problem is the motors might take it. But the speed controllers don't. The they go. The ESCs are rated for 3S I only. think it'll still like, fly. Wait, but is it rated for 3S or is it rated for a certain voltage? It's rated for a voltage. What's that it's, voltage? It's, I think we can overcharge it. What can we do to get a longer flight? Bigger battery? Well, then you just start adding weight. Yeah, higher C battery. So this is, we have one high C yeah. three cells. This is a China Hobby line. This is the highest C rated 3S that we've got. In fact, this is the highest C rated 3S made in the world today. This is actually the last 3S battery anyone in the world makes. 4S Life, 6S Life. Let's charge this by up and hope nothing happens to it. This is like the Constitution from that Nicolas Cage movie. That's what this battery is. Here's the Declaration of Independence. What's the performance differences between these Dremel motors and like, let's just say a cricket motor? Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> the difference being that these are really big, really heavy, and very inefficient compared to a brushless motor of the size that we use. There's a reason why Dremel uses this in this kind of unit, and that's because they're super cheap. And this, if this stalls out, you don't have to stop it and try to find it. You don't need an ESC. Exactly, you just need voltage in there. That's the problem for us though. <laughs> these are brushed ESCs, so these are made for airplanes and they have a crazy amount of filtering. <laughs> wow, that is slowing down very slowly. Back in the day, uh, FM radios and you had jitter on that and you didn't want that in your motor, so they are like, oh, I'm we'll just gonna throw a crap ton of filtering in there and that's gonna make the ESC better. Sure did on planes. <laughs> but the response time on these are so slow. You guys drilled the arms out to fit the bottom of the Dremel? Yes, so these are CL1 arms and I just made a bigger hole with a Dremel. So everything that was 
needed to be drilled or anything was done with the Dremel. Sure it was. Dremel didn't want to sponsor this episode because they thought this was irresponsible. David, I noticed that we're using the, this three cell LiPo to run. Yeah. We're not actually using the batteries in here. So wait a minute. Whoa, what is yeah, that? That's so not the, that's the battery, but what yeah. is this? It's so not a battery. these are 3D printed parts. You made, oh, that's the, oh my gosh, you're right. Actually, Chad made them. So Chad, that's the craziest that. part. Not Chad only has the this, yeah. but he actually I'm went through like impressed. all the processes of making it look as factory as possible. Because I thought that's this was the bottom of the room. Yeah, the reason why fancy. we did that I, is I tried to do it with the stock batteries, but they're just so heavy yeah. and they're not made for this high current. So you saved weight with taking the uh, the factory batteries out of it, but what's the all up weight right now? 2.2 kilos plus. <laughs> it's a heavy pig. I got a question. They don't make prop adapters for Dremel tools. How did you get the props attached? It's a standard Dremel mandrel, right? Yeah, it is. So, <gasps> you take that off. <laughs> so this is a plane. <laughs> That's a collar from a plane. <laughs> and then this is the shaft. That's so, that's so <laughs> from a crazy. Can I see that? Yeah, sure. <laughs> see, that's using your brain, people. This right here. And then it's just a standard <laughs> Dremel. So we can still put tools on this and cut things. Look how factory <laughs> that is. Like, dude, that looks like, like it was made for this. Yeah, okay. downside is if you crash this, this is going to bend like cheese. Oh, no, we can't. This is, if we so, crash this, it's going to be a disaster. We had to tighten up the... Um, the lug nuts. <laughs> is that what that is? Mandrel. Um, the mandrel. <laughs> Today on Rotorite, we're going to learn the difference between a mandrel and a collet. A collet is a thing that clamps down on the end of a Dremel, and a mandrel is a kind of monkey. <laughs> Think about how much work the pioneers of FPV had to go through to get their This jank, is probably about right. Their janky ass this junk This is probably working. about right. I mean, we have things, it so good nowadays. Things are durable and reliable. It still flies better than my David? first stuff. Yeah, what were the pioneers? <laughs> you were one of the pioneers of FPV. Was this pretty much what it was like? Every yeah, I didn't have a flight controller. Alright, I'm armed, raising throttle. Oh, oh my, my goodness. God, dude, it's up in the air. We're oh, cooking. Oh, we are cooking way faster than I would like to be going. Holy. Oh, it does it. I'm gonna hook into the pavilion. Ooh, don't pass me. Still on me? Or he's on him, he's on him. Alright, make sure. Oh my gosh. Turn and left, turn and left. Oh my god. You got it? Oh my god. I'm kind this of orbiting ridiculous. the trees. Yep. I'm gonna go through the V. You oh got my me god. through the V? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Go. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh man, it's, it's picking up speed. Oh, okay, try to slow it down. Fast pass, fast pass, dude. Fast pass. Oh, yeah. Oh. Cook it. Woo -hoo -hoo! It's cooking, it's cooking baby! That oh, looks yeah. so much better going fast! I'm, I'm hanging a little. Oh my gosh, dude, it's so wobbly. Oh, fourth, dude. Should I gap the V? We gotta yeah, gap the V. Yeah. Oh my god, you're flying it! I'm up through the V. Oh, you're so high. And I'm descending. You're done. And I'm descending. Oh, it's. Whoa. Oh! Down! Oh! Oh! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this thing is a monster. Now wait, when you That's picked up speed, it actually looked like it kind of stabilized a little. It looked like it was flying pretty straight. It kind of did. <laughs> it kind of felt a little smoother once we got going. Maybe there's something to aerodynamic about four pillars just plowing. Want to go see the damage? Wow. Uh, how is it? It's I can't believe you can fly it again. I can't believe we haven't broken an arm. I don't think With the, this arm, much the leverage? arm is going to be fine. These are five mil arms. Just this HD1 is just unstoppable, baby. Stop. You're unstoppable. We got some good shots. Yeah, now power loop it. I do want to try and flip it. Just get it up and then just full roll. Oh, it really took a tumble when I went down. Yeah. I was full throttle to save it. Went up through the V and then decreased throttle a little bit. To, no, to... no, 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 can't do that. Well, I had to descend. <laughs> and so then it just started descending. So I tried to catch it, wouldn't do anything. By the end, I was full throttle still going down. I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on, tumble. I mean, it did a couple end over ends. Yep. Shoot, dude. I think what David yeah, is saying is if you want to climb, raise the throttle. If you want to descend, raise the throttle more. <laughs> <laughs> I think someone else should get to fly besides me, though. You talking about roll it? Yeah. Did you say roll it? Like, like go yeah. out in the field and go way up high. Yeah, I'll do that. Do a flight till you feel it out. No. But I think I no. think if you're go gonna, for it. even if it's going, just what, go try for to it. Wreck it. We're gonna lose light. What? We're yeah. gonna lose light. Go for He's gotta just okay. go. For, no, just yeah. we can do it. We can pull two flights. We can pull two flights. It'll be okay. How are you feeling? <laughs> I feel nervous. <laughs> you got this. You got this. Yeah. Ryan, 
He's flying it. It's just flying like it a quadcopter. Flies like, it flies like a Cinewoop. How does it fly like a Cinewoop? Like just like the, it just flies real slow. Does it feel stable? Yeah, hell yeah. You're just, you're going, dude. It feels wow. Right, baby. Whoa. Wow. You're just going. It looks good in the air. Can I try to take it backwards? <laughs> do what you gotta yeah, do. Do something, man. Do something. Take it backwards through one of the pavilions. <gasps> oh, oh no! Uh, did you film it at least? <laughs> it looked like I was good, but the weight no, of it. You were not good. I wasn't. It didn't explode exactly. It didn't explode. It exploded. No. no parts came off. Yeah. No parts came off. Of course. So we just need to plug that in. Yeah, plug and that in and change some props and. Uh, do we have props? We got everything? Okay, I won't fly again. I'm thinking we should throw 4S on it. We're out of light. We've done everything we could do. Let's go 4S. Let's rip it. Let's see what kind of potential it's really got. It's kind of irresponsible because the uh, ratings of the ESCs are 3S max. So this might just plug in and go poof. Yes. Corey's going to flip it now. Okay, yeah. we're good to go. David really wants to see the flip. Yep. I want to see so the flip. So you may just go right to the flip. David's asking for the flip. You may okay. just go right Do to the flip. The flip. Let, me, let me just go right out here in the middle. Oh, dude, it flips perfect. Oh, no flips way! <laughs> no flips freaking way! It looks so graceful. Let's do it again. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's just, uh, oh, 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 oh my gosh, it no landed. Way. Bottom flip. Get out of here. That's a bottom flip, kidding? baby. Dude, you just bottle flip the Dremel drone. I don't have video right now. Oh, you, you don't? don't? No. Okay. Let me go check. That yeah, bottle flipping. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> smells like fire. I also smell that smell. Did anything feel? <laughs> oh, he's a, <laughs> a little stinky. Well, man, it was smooth as hell. It was just like, huh? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> was it an ESC? Was it a battery? Was it a Dremel motor? It's only coming from the center. It smells like it's an ESC. Oh, it's just dead, dead. Is the air unit dead? Everything's dead. Hold on, let me see if I got video now. No, it's dead. The air, nothing's powering up. Nothing. I cannot believe we didn't break an arm. I can't believe it bottle flipped from that high. That might be the highest bottle flip from a quad ever. <laughs> I have to say this was a pretty good success though. I was way more successful than I thought. It flipped very well. I mean, it flew. And I'm actually really impressed with how well Corey was able to pilot it. Cause I was I really struggling. Like and shooting. when David brought up the idea of a flip, I just, I was like, I don't think that's gonna be possible. <laughs> you really need pro pilots for this, for sure. Like, it doesn't fly bad. Like I'm serious. What are you talking it flew pretty good through the trees and everything. I, honestly, I, I was I was hanging off for dear life. The magic fingers. It's the magic so. fingers. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. We hope you loved it. If you got any ideas for more crazy stuff, we should turn into quadcopters. Let us know in the comments. Huge thanks to David Vindestall for mm. making the impossible fly. Mm. <laughs> no one asked for Dremel drone, but here it is. <laughs> Oh, he's coming for it. Look at him. He's coming for it. He knows what to do. Oh, he's coming. Look, get it. Get it, Christian. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Get your butt of your hand. I'm a Disney princess.